With Throne Liberty being the latest free game to play, I decided to jump in and check it out. I'm actually loving what I'm experiencing so far. And although things can be improved from the dev side, there are things you can do as a player yourself to make the experience a little better in regards to certain settings you can change. Also knowing about different options that the game doesn't tell you and more. Today guys, I bring you everything you need to know, all the best settings you need to change and more. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent, which is this game's in-game currency. To win it's as simple as this, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. Winners will be picked uh, from the comment section and announced in a few days, so good luck everybody. Okay, so as you come to play this game, especially on console, there's a few things you may want to look into, into changing in regards to those settings. Now, upon you bringing up the menus, you will probably notice straight away that things do seem a little buggy. Sometimes you won't even be able to navigate things and while the menus are just glitchy. Uh, they're froze for me so many times it's unreal. But there is a safety mode you can trigger which makes navigating these menus and the game's UI about 100 times easier. Now to activate this all you need to do guys is hold down that left thumbstick. You can do this before or after going into any menu, any inventory screen, the options, the settings, it doesn't matter guys, this can be used in all of them and it is seamless, there's no stopping, there's no glitching, there is nothing holding you back here, it's a much much better mode to actually trigger, I just wish once you triggered it, it stayed triggered, it don't, sometimes when you go into a different option or a different menu even, it will basically deactivate itself and you have to re-trigger it, but yes, it's definitely something you should be knowing about to make navigating this game's crazy and buggy UI which is apparent at the minute much much easier. Now the settings here are pretty hefty in the game I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I honestly feel most uh, at default are completely fine but there are a few I recommend you do indeed at least think about checking out. So under the controls the first one ticked for you is the next target lock on. What this does is when you are fighting multiple enemies at the same time and you're locked onto one it will auto lock onto another upon you defeating the initial target. This can I know for sure be annoying at times as in games like this where moves need to be timed and do have cooldowns in some instances where auto locks onto a different enemy while you're in your rhythm you can sometimes miss due to that auto locking on yes it can be super annoying so this may be something you may have to come back to after you experience this game's combat and actually change for me it doesn't seem too bad at the moment and it seems to help more times than not so i've left mine ticked as you come down in this section there are probably a few things here you won't first understand but I can tell you leaving them as they are are better than you turning them off and muddling things up so for now guys leave these as they are okay so now within the character settings to me it's all down to personal preference the same goes for that target section too this will be something I feel you can come back to as you play but at first leave these exactly how they are now within the items section you will see that we have that auto dissolve option here which is set to off. Uh, this is now obviously something I would recommend you not changing but as time goes on as the grind becomes easier as you start leveling up and progressing this would definitely be an important feature for the future. Now within the camera options here the sensitivity I feel does need to be changed uh, as at standard is just too slow. I recommend between a 70 and an 80 at first and probably going up a little bit more as you get used to this. I mean a higher sensitivity I definitely recommend because as you get surrounded in this game turning that speed is very very important and yes you will get surrounded and when it's at that default you'll find yourself spinning around in circles so slow you'll be getting hit from every angle so yes definitely turn this up I'd again recommend between 70 and 80 maybe even a little higher. Within this setting also guys I turn off that camera shake this doesn't add anything to the game in my opinion. Now within the content section here, again I'll leave things as they are, I wouldn't bother changing anything for the time being. Now the chat section determines a lot in regards to what you see from NPC text to other players and much much more. I personally feel, but this is a personal preference, uh, but I think how long it stays on the screen and active should be changed, as having it on the screen constantly 
was doing my heading i recommend to turn this down to probably 10 seconds i mean it's I mean it is something you'll see on screen most of the time when playing anyway but having on screen constantly for me anyway was doing my head in but yeah that's completely up to you like i said it's a personal preference i would recommend however putting on and turning on that auto translate as it does help depending on the server you are in i'm in a european server not everyone is speaking english and this helps me interact with other players like french players and german players so yes this is definitely something i recommend you turning on Within the UI, I'd say the same here, although I have reduced the HUD size down to 82. I like my screen being clear and unclogged, uh, so the smaller the better. One is a little too small though, but I guess it depends on how far you sit away from your TV screen. Two seems just about right for me. The rest of the section I leave untouched. Language and time? I mean, each language and time. Nothing here needs to be changed. Now there are other options here like notifications, sound, controller, which I will add. I do have my own recommended settings, rematch settings for controller, uh, which I'll link that video in the video description. The controller settings, the standard map buttons in this game at default are very, very niggly. Um, I do recommend you checking out that video. It makes the combat in this game more flawless, more fluent. So yeah, again, I'll link that video in the video description. Because there is so many buttons to press in this game to bring up so many different things, it can get a little bit overwhelming when it comes to mapping your own. So again guys, I do have you covered right there. Now within the accessibility, I do recommend you turning off that motion blur. As with this game, it's like most games, it adds absolutely nothing. I mean, why do they even add this into games? I mean, in games like this, this should be off at default. I mean, yes, it can make certain games look a bit better, I guess, like car games and things that you move at quick speed but in this during that combat and doing like exploration it takes away from the game in my opinion like it does in most other games but again that's a personal preference people may like motion blur don't get it but hey turn it off is the best way to go in my opinion now back in outer settings guys at the bottom of the screen you can see there's a camera option too which allows you to set a certain distance for your gameplay now I personally like my stuff a little bit more zoomed out, especially for the combat in this game, when you're fighting bigger enemies and multiple enemies at the same time. And this feature allows you to do exactly that. You can see some serious ground around you when you do zoom out. Again, this could be personal preference. Some players may like it close and personal. This allows you to do that. So play around with this too. But there we have it guys for my recommended settings for Throne and Liberty. And well, I hope it helped you out. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.